Hello. I want to welcome you to my first YouTube video. I just wanted to take a couple minutes. I'm not going to be long with the video, but I wanted to hop on here really fast because I've been doing this video in my head for the last few days. But I said, okay, Lord, let me just go to lunch and take about five minutes to get off my heart what's been on my heart since Saturday. And that's basically, I want to speak encouragement to those who God has given you an idea. He's given you something that you've been carrying for so long. It could be a, a number of things, not only just one idea. But I want to encourage you not to allow what you don't know to stop you from doing what you believe he is telling you to do. That's one. Two. I don't want you to let thinking that something has to be perfect to move forward with what the Lord has given you. What I have found in my experience is this. As you go, he will send people to help you to tweak that idea, to mold that idea all the more, but don't allow it to stop you. I remember when I started my blog, I had no idea. I was always wanting to start a blog, but you know how we come up with so many different excuses as to, um, well, why do I need to start a blog? It's millions of blog bloggers. You know, what, what do I have to say that's going, that someone else hasn't said? And that's a, that's a killer right there too. When you begin to think that someone else is doing what he's telling you to do. But what you have to realize is this. If he's telling you to do it, it's because he has people that he has designated that will listen to you, to you only. You think about that. So it doesn't matter if it's 10 to 15 or 20 people, 100 people who are doing the same thing that the Lord has told you to do. It doesn't matter because those people that he has designated for you to touch their lives, they're waiting on you. To release what it is that he has given to you. When you think about uh, different burger places. Different pizza places. There are so many different options for us. But they all give us something different. And that's what makes us all unique. Because we're all different. We're all wonderfully and fearfully made in his image. And after his likeness. So I don't want you to allow that to cause you to be disobedient. About a month ago, the Holy Spirit told me, he said, quit worrying about the responses from people and obey me and let me worry about the response from people. So when he told me that, that basically freed me. Another thing I want to bring out too, don't worry about your connections. The Holy Spirit taught me, he told me, he said, when you learn to connect right in the secret place, that is the only connect you will ever need your entire life. Hallelujah. That is the only connect you will ever need in your entire life is when you learn how to connect with the Lord in the secret place. When you learn how to go before him and trust, trust him to do exactly what he said that he would do with what he has given you. We don't put no trust in the arm of the flesh and we don't put no trust in men because men will fail you. But the Lord, he is dependable and he is faithful. And those things that you may look at as being small, those things that you may look at as thinking that they're um, meaningless or not big or, you know, not the lights not shining all over it. As you begin to continually take those things before the Lord and pray and intercede and keep those things before him he will care for that baby he will make room for that baby he'll present that baby before who it is that it needs to be presented to he will open doors for that baby he'll provide for that baby so you don't allow connections you don't allow who you don't know you don't allow the responses from people you don't allow resources or any of that to stop you from moving forward with what the lord has given you when you go before him, he will teach you. And I just want to encourage you today.
that no matter what idea that he has given you, you get in posture, you get in position to give birth to that thing. And you present it to the world as if it's the most beautiful thing that you have ever seen in your life. And you watch the Lord do the impossible. You watch him make ways for you. You watch him breathe upon it. And you just you just choose to be obedient. Don't allow what you don't know to stop you from doing what you need to do. Don't allow that. Just take a step. Just take a step. And he'll take, he's already gone ahead of you. Just take a step towards that thing and do it and watch his blessings overtake you. Watch his approval for you because his approval is all that matters in the entire world. It's only his approval that we desire in our lives. It's only his approval. It's only his green light that we look for. It's only his smile that we long to see. Hallelujah. It's only his that we long to hear him say, well done. You did a good job. You obeyed me in the little things. And now guess what? I'm going to make you ruler over great in many things. That's how he is. That's what he does. That's the kind of God that he is. So today, just breathe 